Working model. Change the model of this product. The product remains unchanged. The point is that the product remains unchanged. Then change the model. There have been products that have changed their backgrounds before. Product details remain unchanged. This time is different from the previous one. Replace the background model. The product remains unchanged. The point is that this product remains unchanged because changing the background frequently will cause product changes. That doesn't apply. This is somewhat similar to, but the usage yes. is different. Before that was. Yeah, look where it is. In this flux. Product background change. The details remain the same. This time, the product model is changed. Also use flux. I'm using an online mirror. This is the online mirror that is used now. In this way, can be used directly online. You can see all my workflows. Of course, the latest version needs to you wait can for see the platform this latest to update. And all the others you can use. What I'm demonstrating now is the online mirror. If I can use it, you can use it too. Just click on this. The entire workflow. There are five steps in total. Let me first briefly introduce. The first step is to select the mask. Using this, the model. Then select the scan. He will select both this person and this scan. The tip is to write what you want and choose what. He wrote here. This product. So he will deduct this product. Then reverse the selection. This means that in addition to the product, all others are selected. Skin care this product. I won't go into detail. This is to resize the image. Can be set or not. This is a model for automatic cutout. I won't go into the details of this. You can all figure this out on your own. Mainly to control the model characteristics after the change. For example, as nationality, you can understand all the controls of a character. Hair color, etc. If that's not enough, you can also write prompt words to control. This is a reverse prompt. In this way, we don't need to describe the original model. This tip. Use the strongest. Joey's Mate Llama 3.1 has the best reverse push prompt work so far. He will automatically infer the prompt word. Then directly connect to this SDXL. Rule pictures. This is just a preliminary picture. Then these two control net are used to control it. Used to ensure that it remains roughly unchanged. Of course, if you want to change everything, then just remove all this. For example, I may not need to refer to the previous model's movements for the background. They are now disabled days. Then read the prompt words here. Just write it here. Generate through it. The first step is less a factor. The add fusion of my product is the poor. Because it cuts out this picture. Equals to regenerate except product. So there's a problem with the boundary between the outside and the inside. The fourth step is to use flux. The one used here is a portrait one, Laura. Here, portrait of an Asian model of the Laura. Of course, you can also choose the style you like. For example, the style of this movie, or Miss Wukong is fine. 
The key point is not to set the redraw intensity too high. Generally, it is 0.1 or 0.3. Because this step is mainly to make this product more integrated with the later redrawn graph. Raw images from the flux model. An excellent ability to solve this integration problem. Details. Have you noticed that the text of this product will change after it is redrawn? So we need a fifth step. Because if it wasn't redrawn by him, this product is the original picture and it will not change. But after the reunion, he will not guarantee that the product is one-to-one -one normal. So the last step is needed. Mix product pictures. Just compare the product picture from the first picture with this one. Effects Final Effect Max. Mix the original information of the product. In this way, the product retains its original information and product details. This achieves the effect of changing the model of the product. OK, everyone can go play. This mirror platform should be updated soon. If you need it urgently, you can open click my on Comfury tutorial. Then click on this image version of Comfury. Image version of the mirror line. The first is to change the model for the product. Click on the screenshot of the workflow. There is also a download of the workflow for steps 1 to 5. This is suitable for local installation. If you use my mirror online, that is to directly open the mirror of the endbrain cloud. Click on my mirror. If I open it like this, I can see all my workflows. And you can use it directly, download it, or run it. There is no need to deploy and install these models. ETC, ETC. What I can use now, you can use too. This avoids people saying that they are reporting errors, etc. Okay, let's go play.